You know I had to do it. You know that I had to do it when I found out there was a fourth one. I know that, you know, the third one wasn't my favorite. I liked the first one. The second one was good. The third one wasn't my favorite. I didn't even get the, the good end of the third one, so I don't really know how the, that one was supposed to end. But tonight on, on stream, we are going to be doing the fourth man game. <laughs> followed by more Psychonauts. So I hope you're you're buckled up, kids, because we are about to get spook. There's an upside down font. Ah! All right, the Hanged Man. That's what this one. That's what this one is. Um. So yeah, before I begin, just just in case the creator is watching, I like your games. I I shit on everything I play. <laughs> really, I do. Um, you're very talented. So let's let's begin. Let's begin. I don't remember how the last game ended. I don't really even remember a whole lot of the characters from the last game. Thanks for subbing, Dizzle. You skipped my art once. Oh, fuck. What the hell does this say? Alright, I can't start this. This isn't in English. Alright, well, let's do start. Voice acting? Uh-oh. Uh oh. It he... contains scares and grotesque content. Mm. Why didn't you stream the arms test punch tonight? Because I actually wanted to play it standing up with motion controls, because that's the only time. That's the only control method that I haven't tried yet. And, uh. And I, I did it. I can talk about it a little later. Oh, fuck. That's actually nice looking. So this came out recently, like a couple days ago, I think. I don't know. Oh, shit. Mike, the Ice Climbers RPG would be a bad idea. Well, here it is. Here it is. Um, yeah, I played ARMS today. I might be a little angry tonight because I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. ARMS made me real mad. I was losing real hard, and I don't know what the heck was wrong with me. I don't know what, what the heck was wrong with me. It, it really, I got really upset. I got really upset. Permanent footsteps? You can cover the whole map in footsteps. I became turnt. I became anger. The entrance to an apartment. No reason to go here. There's no sound right now, so if you can't hear anything, I mean, that's that would be normal. There's, like, light footsteps. A bakery. It's closed. The fuck is a bakery? Fishing shop? One time I went to a fishing shop, like a little, little place near near the ocean in Maine. And we bought these worms that you use to go fishing, except they were like massive centipedes with the girth of hot dogs. Thanks for subbing, Floor 9. They were really scary. Oh, that's awful quiet. Let me turn this shit up. Okay. Come to buy... Oh, yeah. Can I talk to you again to see if the volume is fixed? It's been a while since we've done an RPG Maker game. Like, a whole week. It's nice music. A stack of comics. Juice. A selection of brand new fishing rods. A wolf spider, huh? Oof, don't like the sound of that. Um, is there anything I need to buy in here? I think I've clicked on, like, everything. Register. Ice Climbers RPG, confirmed. Oh, wait. Thinking of buying one? You've got a good eye. Those are old school, but still pretty popular. That sounds like Hitoshi-san. You go fishing often? It's also very quiet still. I mean, this is... I'll turn it up even more. Just for reference, right now, the, the game audio is on negative 5.5 decibels. And it's usually on negative 20 when I stream anything else, so... Hey, what do you think you're doing? What? <coughs> Manager, I need some help here. But he, he was breaking the fishing rod? Did he just start breaking the fishing rod? 
What's your name, kid? Oh, fuck. David. I said, what's your name? Urgh. What kind of brat just starts stomping on merchandise? <laughs> Enough, kid. Give me your name and address. If you're gonna stay quiet, I'll let the cops deal with you. It's still happening. Is this your guardian's number? Yeah, not too far from here. Alright, let's ring him up. Oh, God. Alright, here we go. David! David! Hello. David! It's David! <laughs> yes! So you're David. Yes! You're this kid's guardian? Yes! I guess he doesn't die at the end of the third game. Cousin, I'm sorry about what he did to the merchandise. Oh, cousin. Uh, at least someone is. And the attitude on this guy. He won't even apologize. Won't even give his name. I'm sorry. I'll reimburse you. So please, just... Well, uh, fine. Ooh. You better let his parents know about this. He doesn't have any. Right? No? David, what have you done? What sort of cockamamie mess have you gotten yourself into this time, David? Does your mom know you're over here? Do you have somewhere to stay? David actually sounds pretty good. Come to my place. You're hungry, I bet. I'll make you something. That's actually a pretty good performance. My wife's away from home for a while, so you're fine to stay here today. No appetite? Are you off to bed already? <laughs> you can sleep in my room tonight. It's at the end of the hall upstairs. There's only one bed. We're gonna have to share. It's a twin-sized bed. There's only one pillow. We're gonna have to share. There's only one pair of pajamas. We're gonna have to share. A calendar. A phone. Mm. Two chairs. Two chairs. Cup, cup boards. Refrigerator. An alligator in a refrigerator. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Um, CDs and DVDs. Where's the blue race, David? What is this? 1942? Will. Will. Tomorrow. Let's have a little talk. Will doesn't fucking talk, David. Haven't you realized this? Oh, is this the same uh, house from Crooked Man? Does he still live there? You shouldn't go in this room without permission, but you can just go into a fishing shop and break their merchandise without permission. Looks like a closet. Maybe this isn't the same place. Alright. Alright. It is a twin-size bed, and there is only one pillow. Is that a mouse? Oh, warm at last. I just about froze to death in your pocket there, Will. Hear that? Let's have a talk. Oh, you know he's going to be mad. <laughs> well, ain't that how it goes? You do bad, people get mad. It's the way of the world. Is it supposed to be like, please tell me that's not Will's father, please. His name is Pop. Please tell me that's not Will's dad, please. Please. You are a little... There's a scenic photo on the stand. Oh, jeez. A cushion. A lamp. A clock. Garbage. What's up, Will? Let's hit the hay. Hey, 
Don't tell me. Are you thinking maybe I should just beat it? What? Pop has... Wait, what are you doing? Well, if that's what you want, I won't stop you. I'm an understanding rat, you know. <laughs> that, right? Wait, aren't they on the second floor? Is he just gonna jump out? Oh, they're on the... He's on the fucking rough. I'm playing again. Let's see. I don't know what, uh... We're gonna have to just deal with this volume. Which means that the uh, sound effects are gonna be loud, but... That's all I can do. Jump onto the tree. Do nothing. This game may contain scares and grotesque content. The the there have they the HP did stuff in the last game. Remember the fights? Remember that last fight? Dave, why are you leaving David's house? No. I'm a mouse that loves to snooze. He's a rat. It's freezing. Let's find a place to stay quick, like a motel or something. Or like a kind man's home who offered you a bed and breakfast and dinner. A kind man's home who you just walked out on. All right, that's fine. What if this was a Christmas-themed game? But baby. Baby. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Is that from Shrek? I think that's from Shrek. Not the first Shrek. Where's the baby? There's no more baby. Is this the baby? A snowman. Where's the baby? Rat tat toin. Fuck. I cannot, I cannot go. You can't sprint? I, I'm trying to decide where the fuck I am. Like, is this the same town from, from previous game? Where uh, Shirley walked around in? What was the name of the protagonist from the third game? Wasn't his name, like... Charles, and he was a detective. Hmm. Wolf, I'll play Paper Please Mario Thousand Year Door someday. Let's move. Let's move. They should have had Pop voiced by like Mickey Mouse. Oh, there's a motel. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's move, Will. Look, there it is. Ha <laughs> ha. It was David, then Sophie, then Keith. Okay, does Keith die in the canon ending of the third game? Because he died in my ending, but I don't think that was canon. Oh, look at that, Will! It's a mounted deer! Look, there's a decorative plant, Will! Oh, look, a mountain of pizza boxes, Will! Kids these days sure are cheeky. Running to the home to the hotel. He survives in the good ending. What is it? I'm busy watching these Detective Crawford reruns. Get out of here, kid. Detective Crawford? Was that his name? Was his name Keith Crawford? I don't know if that's an Easter egg or not. All right, all right. Just go. Room 103. Can we make borders for this game? I have no idea how long this game is. Shouldn't you, like... I don't know. Like, Would you just... Give a room to a little kid like this? Note. Huh. Um, what else do I have? Letter? You're a demon child. Someday you'll be burning in hell for your sins. Uh-oh. This game has two deciding factors which determine the ending you'll get. Would you like me to tell you what to do for those two parts in order to get the good ending. No, just tell me when I get there. Like, let me know when I'm about to make a crucial decision. Pencil case. Nothing to do with that. Is this the human sands? Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck off you. The hanged man. Okay. Um, alright. Let's just use the key then. Oh, I fuck off you. Eh? Who's there? The room's in use. That sounds like Keith. That's Keith. I know that voice. 
You on your own? Where are your parents? That's Keith. I know that Keith. I know Keith. A runaway. What do you what do you, what do you mean? You hey hey buddy, you gave me a room that was already occupied. Yeah, what? I'm not giving you any room service, kid. You know, this would be a real cozy place to work. Look at this. Like nice lighting, TV, pizza. It's cozy. Oh, whoops, that's a spare. Right, 103 is already occupied. Here, try 105. Okay. Now Kids hold. these days are so cheeky. What's that guy's problem? Just a big headed jerk. Never end up like him, Will. But what did he do wrong? He kind of just gave you a fucking the wrong key. I don't think he did anything wrong. He was kind of a dick about it, but like, you know, I don't know. Now this is a nice little room. Wilted flowers. Haha, <laughs> wilted flowers, because I'm playing as well. There's some trash inside. Okay. <laughs> that scared me. Is this... It smells a little. Um, a lamp. Can I just go to bed? Can I turn on the TV? What do you want from me, game? What do you want from me? Sorry if my, my keyboard clicking is loud. I'll move my keyboard further away. It's dirty. How come this this thing's not opening now? It opened when I went in there the first time. Now it's not opening. That's scary. First scare of the game. It closed by itself and now it won't reopen. The story so far is David is here. I, I don't know what to do. There's a rat dad. Yeah. No reason to go inside. Well, I want us to talk to Keith. I'm shaking in my Crocs. <laughs> Alright, well, there must be something I have to do. Interact with the bed from the bottom. Did I not do that? I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Anyway, how are you guys doing tonight? You doing well? I hope so. Did you have a good day? I hope so. Nope. Interacting with the bed from the bottom does nothing. Interacting with the bed from the sides does nothing. Nothing in the desk drawers. Do I have anything I can use? Card? Hmm. Oh, look. That's a real photo. Detective, what should I do? Should I tell my son what that man did? I know he would suffer. Why isn't this voice it? Why isn't this voice it? <laughs> I know he would suffer. I know he would despair, his trust betrayed. I don't want him to suffer when it's so irrational. Hiding it because it's irrational. That's easier said than done. If you want to protect your son from everything irrational in the world, your only hope's to lock him up in a room. But I think your son wants to leave the room. Even if it's not logical, he's ready to bear it if it means getting the truth. Go on and tell him everything. This will be a trial for him. Hey. hey, it's Detective Crawford. That was the show your dad liked, huh? They sure run some old shows, don't they? This guy sounds a little tiny bit like Joe Gran, the, the Yukino Joe. A little bit like if he was doing a lower voice. A little bit. Uh, only sometimes, only sometimes, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit. Wow, you just went right into bed. You, you sleep with the uh, feeling down, huh? You sleep with the with the rat. The rat. Tomorrow, you ought to go to David's and apologize. You didn't come all this way just to do this, did you? And I'll apologize with you too. 
I think David might think you're crazy if he sees a talking rat. But then again, David's seen some weird shit. David's seen some weird shit. He might believe you. Alright. Ten o'clock already? Overslept a little, huh? Why would you say that oh, yeah, after we are already oh, dressed and out of the fucking building? Somewhere. It's like they, they just didn't speak the whole morning. He got up, took a shower, got dressed, checked out of the hotel... And then, uh, you know, then they finally start speaking as soon as they leave. Hey, that way's the freeway. Think you'd have better luck finding food in town? Pop, I don't like your attitude. I'm, why does he have a talking rat? Ooh, there's a cafe. Breakfast awaits. Mary's Kitchen. Of course. I like this music. Any familiar characters in here? Can't talk to him. There's Ashley from WarioWare. This person, this person. This looks like David's wife. Um, this guy with the beret back here. This one of the guys from Chuckle Huck Woods. This guy, this guy, this guy. Who is this guy? Sorry, I haven't cleaned up the counter yet. Could you go sit at a table? Yeah, sure. What'll it be? Morning plate sounds good to me. You think you're the same? All right, let's hear it. Wow, the volume mixing isn't very good. Oh, so why are we up like? Have you decided what to order? Why are we like at the top right? You can't see her face. Sorry, I can't tell when you just point. Um, do you want the A plate or the B plate? Son, which point? I'm pointing at the one I want. What do you mean you can't tell? Oh. Have I seen you somewhere before? Is that uh Sophie? I think that's Sophie. Eh? That's why I wasn't showing her face. Sophie works at Mary's kitchen. What? Do you think that, uh, do you think the, the Sandman still watches her from his bedroom? What's up, Sophie? Do you know him? Ooh, wait, is he your boyfriend? <laughs> I didn't know you liked them young. What? Don't make fun of me. He's not anybody. Who is he, Sophie? Is it, what if he's, I feel like I might have met him somewhere. what if he's the Sandman? Sure caught me by surprise. Who was with that girl? No chance she actually knows you. He could be Sans. All right, listen. He's wearing the same. Like if he took the hood off, I'm not. I don't want to say anything, but you know, this could be Sans before he was a skeleton. Ah, well, forget what a girl like her thinks. It's not worth worrying over, am I right? We gotta get to David's place. Okay, let's go to David's place. What's the matter? Will. Okay, so let me let me get this straight. I say that he's Sans Undertale, and you guys yell at me, but you say he's Sans Undertale, and it's the funniest thing in the world. Okay. Hey, chat. You don't want to go back to town? Oof. It's cold out here, Will. If you're not going back to town, find some place to rest, or else I'm going to freeze to death. How sad would it be if Pop died? Oh, that'd be... That'd be so sad be so upsetting restricted area don't do it well what did I just tell you not to do uh oh the smoggy bog Denny write that down for when I make a game I want a level called the smoggy bog hmm all right Pop on Pop, Chapter 55, The Death of Pop. <laughs> Sometimes you guys say funny shit. Sometimes. I actually am going to make a second save. Well, you fucking blew it. You, you landed on Pop. He's he's a fucking mouse soup now. He's He's gone. He's got squinched big time.
What is this place now? Now what's this place? Why is there this huge building here in the woods? All right, I'm going to say this. I think that it's kind of cool that this is a series that has like connections to the past games. I like I like running into oh, recurring it's characters. Cold. It's kind of fun. Well, get in so we can get out of this snow. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. This looks like a prison. Call when you go to the prison call. Hmm. 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 You in the prison? We are the crooked men, Carl. It's just, this series is simultaneously interesting and silly as fuck. That's what I, that's how I feel about it too. I think the first game set up this tone that it was more serious, and then the second game took it in a very silly direction. And then it's kind of been like, jumping back and forth between silly and serious. Yeah, this is a very good snow effect. It's, it's cool because as I've gone through this series, I've seen this, this game creator... I think U R I Yuri or Uri. Um, I've seen them improve significantly. It's been kind of cool. The talking rat named Pop. Yeah, that's a little silly. Actually, that could le that could lean more towards the horror end of things when you really think about it. Having a unicorn call you a bitch is very serious. That was the best part. You bitch! Then it like kills you. Can I go in here? Vent. Yo, dude, get in vent. Go on vent, dude. Dude, get on vent. We're playing league. Get on vent. Oh, shit. Whoa, that was some fall, Will. You all right? Yeah. Even... Uh-oh. That looked like Bepsi. Look, that's actually Bepsi. That's like the... Turn it on and off with shift. Oh, fuck. This is a cool effect. Look at this. I mean, it's just... It's just like part of the sprite it almost like I don't know I don't know how they did this but it looks nice it looks nice definitely neat the light will flicker on and off I love graffiti like this that just says like a word dance Okay, so then, alright, I have another question about the ending of the third game for those of you who played it. What happened... Who was the boogeyman and what happened to him? What happened to him in the canon ending? Did he die? What the hell is this? Did we ever find that out? Turn off the flashlight? Um, it was the dude's boss. Turn off that light. <laughs> he was arrested. You know what's weird is when you turn on the flashlight, the sur wait a minute. The surrounding area gets darker. It was the owner of the mansion. All right. It looks like fire, but it's not moving. Someone's sitting. What? Must be a hobo, and it looks like he's sleeping. Hope he doesn't freeze. Wow. Yuck. Go inside. This looks sort of like a confession booth, but this ain't no church, is it? So what in the world? Confessing, Will? Sorry, I think the priest is out, but all right, I can fill in. Yes, Will, confess your sins to this rat. <clears throat> Come, confess your sins, oh little lost lamb. Well, uh, maybe big lost lamb? Is he crying? Oh. Man, I don't get that at all. There's nothing to confess for. It 
It's just the way things went, right? It's not your fault, Will. It's not your fault. All right. Enough fessing around. We got to think about what to do next. He's apologizing for breaking the fucking fishing rod. Eh. <gasps> heard that oh no i don't know about this place but i do know it's creepy i'm not feeling warmed at all let's find someplace else will okay <laughs> sure pop sure thing let's save again all right this is actually i'm liking this the hold down shift it it flickers i'm guessing there's going to be something hidden under these one of these Wait a goddamn minute. Wasn't the crooked man already a hanged man? Listen, I don't write the stories. I just I just tell them to you. But you're right. I'll take the key. This environment looks really nice. Like, compared to the previous games, this looks much more lived in. I don't know. It looks more real than the past locations. You know what I mean? Feel me? It won't open. His name isn't Pop, it's Soda. Oh god. In case of fire, leave the fire area immediately. In case of fire, run away from the fire. Good advice. Alright, so let's go up. Won't open. Crooked Man 5, lay angry Rainbow Six Man. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, please. An old refrigerator. It won't open. What do you mean? Is it locked? How does he... Covered in dust. It's too dark to see. Well, then let me turn on the flashlight. There's a storybook here. A note is attached, which reads, Collected from room 1508. Return to library. All right. Well, that's good. Wow, sorry about the fucking volume of that door closing. I can't do anything about it. I think that the sound effects and voices are mapped to the same, like they're both, look. There's only bat, there's only music volume and sound effects volume. I'm assuming this also controls the voices, so I think we're stuck with how it is. Hmm. There's something inside. Key. Yeah, this is, listen, I, that was the first thing I said was this was Ice Climbers RPG. You're going to have to come up with better jokes because I already made that one. So can I read this? An old notebook. The name Andy Thorne is written on the cover. All right. All right. Well, we got some new, hey! Friend of yours, Pop? There's some friends of mine here. What? Hey, 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 <laughs> look at that. I should write for this guy. Or I think, didn't, the, isn't the, I think the dev, didn't she voice, it was, she's a girl. She voiced the, uh, I think Keith's wife in the, in the first game. Oh, fuck off. Also, oh, that's another question. Does anyone know if, if Keith ended up divorcing his wife? The What, what did they call it? The, the Big D? <laughs> or something? Did they end up getting divorced in the good end? I'm assuming not. Filled with grime. Grime. It's me, Carl. Rick Grimes, Carl. Protect your sister, Carl. A dirty toilet. They got counseling in the good ending, if I recall. Okay, all right. Hmm. Visiting room. It's locked. An iron gate. Well, I have some keys. Maybe one of these keys will work. That didn't work. I have another key, don't I? Um. No, oh wait, I do. Nope, that didn't work either. I'm afraid of Turtlehead showing up. Turtlehead was good. I liked Turtlehead. That was a long time ago, though. No, 
there's nothing I can do in here. It was confirmed in the ending of the last game that Sophie was saved by the Sandman from the rabid dog incident. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. I think it was heavily implied even without, like, being revealed. The keys have descriptions in the inventory? Oh, gate number one. All right, maybe that's this gate. I didn't even see that. Turtlehead wasn't in this universe, in, in the Crooked Man cinematic universe. Was there ever a sequel to Ao Oni? I feel like there were probably, like, fan-made sequels. There was a film, a live-action film, in an anime. If those interest you. What is that on the left? What is that on the right? Are those... What are these? Gargoyles? This is a church. This is a study hall for a church. Kitchen. Mary's kitchen. Heh! Wooden boxes. Wooden boxes. It's a stove. It's not lit. The, the, the refrigerator that's locked. I have played both Witch's House and Madfather. Unfortunately, on my own. And Mermaid Swamp. I played, like, all these games that I wish I could have streamed instead. I have a soft spot for games like this for whatever reason. A transport elevator. Some A transport elevator? Something's inside, but it won't open. What can I use the, uh... Visiting room three. Arkin. Alright, let's go to visiting room three then. They're entertaining. What? Hey, somebody's coming. <laughs> I think I'm hid. Am I hid? Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna hide here. David? He's gonna find me. He's gonna find me! <gasps> Don't move. What are you doing here? It's Keith! Hey. It's Keith! I love Weren't Keith. You that runaway kid at the motel yesterday? I like Keith. What are you doing in a place like this? What's your name? Why aren't you in school? Well, one question at a time, Keith. I, I can't answer any of them because I can't talk. Well, at any rate, this is a restricted area. Come on, you're leaving. Keith is a handsome Keith, man. I'm not in the community safety division here. There's no way Will's going to go along with this. If you're running from home, stick to motels. Because this is an especially bad place to stay the night. This place is what they call haunted. What they call haunted. Oh, guess you didn't know. Fifteen years ago, five people died here. And in a real unusual way at that. Uh-oh. Sometimes dumb kids come here on a dare. But they come back telling the strangest stories. That they saw shadows or heard sobbing. You want to know how those five got killed? Listen, Keith, maybe this is why you don't have children, because this isn't how you calm a, ch a child down when you're walking through a scary abandoned building. I hear they were hung, and their guts were cut open. All five of them. Cool, Keith. They were hung by the leg, upside down. The blood pouring from their stomachs dyed them red. What? Jeez. Just like... That. Or so the story goes. Well, scared, right? Glad you understand. Now. Wait, what? <laughs> Are those actually bodies? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so confused. Pop! Pop, wait! Don't go! Oh, now I know why he didn't talk, because his microphone isn't very good. Pop! Pop! Oh... So you can speak. What did you have to do that for? Yeah, his microphone isn't very good. Pop got scared off because you threatened him. That was your pet? He's not my pet. He's my friend. He's my dad! Huh? Uh, mm, I mean... Anyway, 
You better take responsibility and help me find Pop. Me? Look for that rat? You must be joking. But he ran away because you threatened him, okay? This doesn't sound like a little kid. I don't know. I'll say I'm sorry for being threatening, but I had no reason to expect you had a rat in your pocket, did I? And if you don't want your pet running, he's a leash. <laughs> a leash on a rat? Is that some- Hold on, I gotta look this up. I'm sorry. Intermission. Intermission. Rat. Leash. Um, let's see. Well, what do you know? Well, what do you know? It's, I mean, there it is. Keith's, Keith wouldn't lie, kids. Keith wouldn't lie, kids. Pop would never bite people. Sure, like you know best. Maybe you kept that rat in your pocket because you thought he wouldn't run. But he did, didn't he? I think, I think Will is voiced by Pop. They sound like they're the same person but with a different, like, filter. That's almost that. Sorry, but I've got no time to look for any rats. If you want to look, you'll have to do it yourself. And once you find them, get right out of here. Stupid brat. What's your name? It's none of your business. Maybe, no, I think it is. I don't know, it's it's definitely, I think it's a girl pitched down. Going quick. I don't think the snow is stopping anytime soon. That was disorienting. The camera angle just changed. Damn it. Pop, why would you run away? You're clearly you intelligent. Find Pop quick. Then I'll, I'll get out of this place. A pop filter? Oh, you. I'll be fine on my own. R right, Pop? Jeez, you went from not talking to talking a whole lot. So what are these? Are these actually bodies? I'm so, I'm so confused. Pop is supposed to be like an intelligent guy who can speak, and he still ran away and won't come back. Pop has left. Pop is no longer in your party. Would you like to go on without Pop? I say we leave him. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anything in here. Well, that's unfortunate. Pop has logged out. You could say he popped out for a spell. All these rooms are exactly the same. And I know that one of them is going to have a thing in it. These are exactly... Every single one of these fucking rooms is exactly the fucking same. It's part of the darkness now. Pop is part of the darkness now. What have you done with Pop? Don't hit the camera, man. Oh, wow. These are all the same, too. They're all the same. There's got to be something in one of them, but I don't feel like checking them all out. Hmm. Pop? Pop? Oh, you don't like the door sound? Do you want to hear it some more? No, it's a whole nother floor of them. Please, I'm not I'm not checking them all. I can't. What is this key I have? It's for room three. Arkin. Alright, this is a little big. Alright, I don't think that this needs to be this big. Oh, are you is this a joke? Just leave Pop, he's not worth it. <laughs> he 
could be in any of these rooms. And you fine, Pop! There's infinite. This is infinite. There's there's no... This is it. I'm going... Oh, wait. It's a cutscene. I feel like I keep ending up in the same place. Is this like a... I think this is a... Like a, a trick. Alright, well, going down doesn't seem to do anything either. There's got to be something in one of these rooms that's different. One of these rooms must have something different. This is just PT. I really wish I could have played PT, even though I probably would have only been able to play it for two minutes and then I would have got too scared. You need 70 stars to reach the top. I was just about to <laughs> mention that one SCP. Isn't there one SCP? There's like a game about it where you just walk up and down stairs for like 20 minutes and then eventually there's a, a face or something. Alright, there's got to be something different in one of these rooms. There has to be. Alright. Pay attention, guys. Look at these rooms, okay? It looks normal in here. I've had a new relationship. My past tyranny is why I'm confined here. And now I feel nothing but unease. Why are you... Putting these words in quotes. What awaits me is the only ruin. This is not the future I desire. The only future I need is one of salvation. Tyranny, unease, ruin, salvation. What could those mean? Have you heard about Lone Survivor? Isn't that that like really pixelated one that came out years ago? Because I think I have that. And I think I played it like for an hour back in like 2010. I would love to revisit that. Am I thinking of the right game where there's like, you have to like kind of manage stuff and you like are in a motel or fucking apartment complex or something and there's zombies? I remember liking it. Which one of these fucking rooms? They're all the fucking same. This looks like a religious psych ward. I, I guess. Check the black smear next to the stairs, Mike Hunty. Listen. First of all, all right, I would like to apologize. You said Mike Honey. I am so used to seeing Sun Bunny write the word Hunty that I automatically thought you said that. And second of all, when you say Mike Hunty, that sounds gross. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? There's signs of some there's some, something have been erased. Oh, also someone subbed. Ridiculous. Thank you for subbing. I appreciate that very much. Maybe this used to say the floor number. Come to think of it, what floor am I on? No idea. Damn it. Where'd that jerk go? Yes, yeah, Saber. See, I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. What floor am I on? Yeah, the door sound is very... I'll, I'll turn it down until more more talking starts because the door sound is very loud. What floor am I on? Spray paint the wall? Oh, shit, that's a good idea. I like... Oh, wait, never mind. I was about to say your name is Paint Dropper, and I was like, oh, the, the guy named Paint Dropper recommended I use the paint, but his name is Panty Dropper. Okay, never mind. Spray panty. This place seems abandoned. Should be fine, right? Hmm? Uh-oh. Is that all I needed to do? One of these rooms has a guy crying in it.
Hello? Hanged man? Hello? Crooked man? Sandman? Boogeyman? Mega man? Pac man? Spring man? Sheep man? <gasps> blood. There's something written in blood. Mike, I realize who this boy is. It's Fluffy from the first game. Fluffy wasn't even real. The monster's driving me out of here. I don't want to leave. 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 Blood. <laughs> Mike, you're not real. Oh shit, you're right. Maybe I'm not real. Maybe this whole thing has just been a. F maybe I'll. Oh, fuck. I'm, uh, guys, I, like, my hands are becoming transparent. It's like. That really wasn't the video I meant to click on. <laughs> really wasn't the video I meant to click on. <laughs> I, was on the <laughs> I was looking for the fucking I was looking for the fucking sad violin from SpongeBob. And I typed I typed in sad violin and I got fucking <laughs> Roblox sad violin. <laughs> Who's crying? Degenerate, I spend so much goddamn time thinking about why we exist and what any of it means. I, I don't fucking... I, I think about it a lot. My belly hurts from laughing so hard. That wasn't that, wasn't that funny, dude. Go upstairs more? Okay. All right. Oh shit! I don't hear the crying anymore. Patients set to leave the hospital must be interviewed by their doctor within one week. Won't open. Won't open. Seems to be locked from the inside. I have this, uh, or from the inside. Can I use that? Never mind. This is just a dead end. Hmm. There's a building map on the bulletin board. Jesus Christ. Why is room 1411 crossed off? Oh, there's even more. Good. Is that this one? Maybe it's one floor below that, because maybe this is one five. Check the bed in the room with the blood. Which room was the one with the blood? I think you're on six. Which room was the one with the blood? Room one four two zero. Oh my god. He's god. Middle below? Okay. Um, I guess this one? That's not middle below. 
That's not middle below. A dirty bed. You fucking Stefanos. There was nothing there. Oh, you f fucking Stefanos. Alright, if I was on... Let's check... Let's check this room. One, four, one, four, one. Ah! Oh! What? This room wasn't all smoky before. Oh, f this door is, won't open. It's been painted over with concrete. There's a small gap under the door. Oh, you f fucking Stefanos. Hmm. Can I slide something underneath? Ew, that's scary. Monster in the mirror. The monster in the mirror asks, What's your name? How old are you? Where do you live? What do you like? What do you hate? Are you a good kid? Are you a bad kid? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who's that in the mirror? I ask that every time I look in the mirror. Hmm. Are you dropping are you dropping frames? I'm buffering a bunch. Nope, not any. Oh, people are saying you're buffering? If you're buffering, it's absolutely not on my end. It's uh it's gotta be Twitch. Um Uh, nope. Can you say fucking Stefanos, but in a Mario or Luigi voice? Oh, Luigi! Hey! You are a fucking Stefanos! You fucking Stefanos, get out of here! Um, hmm. I don't think I can do anything. There's gotta be something I can slide under there. Area map one. Um, alright, I still have that key to that one place I don't- I didn't do. I have, uh, what is this? The key says visiting room three. Call the number on your phone in real life. <laughs> what if what if you had to do that? Alright, hold on. Let me uh let me go let me go down. Just let me talk to him. Just let me talk to him. No, no. Go in the room next to it, you meme. Don't you call me a meme. Aw oh, man, I'm a meme. One of these days, I'm gonna... <laughs> One of these days, I'm gonna um, go on to Twitch and make a filter so that if you ask me, my, if you say Mike, it's under there, you get banned from chat automatically for the rest of your life. It's a dirty bed. There's a dark red stain on it. Kool-Aid? There's something... Oh, no, Pop? Okay. I can't read this. Beloved Alec, Ard, you are being moved to the back building in two weeks. Pose, I'll never get to meet you again. Who can still understand me at all? Read the letter Carefu. Week from now, I'll come see you at the rightmost seat in the visiting room. Have a knife put under the table. Take it with you in sec. E will be there. E will be two there, but only take one. N will N from Pokemon. N will bring the other one to you if you fail. N has told me he'll definitely get this letter to you. You've read this. Hide it. And don't show anyone. Use if anyone finds it. It will mean trouble for Anakin. Your loving mother. <laughs> Your loving mother. Oh. Uh. Well, now I don't... It's hard to understand. Okay, so there's a knife hidden under the rightmost seat in the visiting room. Have a knife put under the table. Under the table. Take it with you. There will be two there, but only take one. All right, so the other one should still be there. So let's go to the visiting room, maybe? Nah. 
map. Um, the visiting room is there, so I think we need to go back to the, like, back down. This is the kitchen, right? Dining room. Um, this is the kitchen. Alright, so if this, if I'm in the kitchen now, then the visiting room, is this map, like, flipped? Because the kitchen is... I think I need to go... Okay, hold on. Hold on. Alright, Ben! Why are these doors open? Uh-oh. This place gives me a really bad feeling. Yeah, me too. Oh, you f fucking Stefanos. Oh, hey, it worked. Um, rightmost table knife. I don't know if that was here. I can't interact with any of these things. Wait, yes, I can. There's something between the table and the floor. Obtained a knife. Knife obtained. Like a rhinestone cowboy. That, that. What the fuck was that? Hello? Okay, now I'm a little spooked. What do I do with this? What do I do now? Eh? I actually don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I got the knife. Drop the knife. I said... Drop the knife. Fuck you. That was the rhinestone cowboy. <laughs> Use the toilet? Really? I don't think you're gonna find Pop. You run faster with a knife. Good, <laughs> good fucking reference. Wait, I'm just leaving. Goodbye, Pop. Am I gonna leave with him? Pop. If I left without Pop, I'd be a real scumbag. <laughs> okay. That's the that's the motivation. Don't want to be a scumbag. Pop is kill. I just burnt my mouth with a nuclear pizza roll. I've done that many a time. It's not fun. Maybe I can slide the knife under that door? Fucking live with it, Will. We all do. <laughs> Won't open. Um, yeah, let's... Let's try, uh... I'm gonna try to slide the knife under the door. That was my own idea. Do I hear sounds? I'm a little scared. You know how easily I get scared by shit. I'm a little scared. I'm not gonna lie. That's pathetic, but it's true. I'm a little on edge. That wasn't the floor. The Bye Bye Man should be the fifth game. It absolutely should. Pop! Pop, what the hell? Come back! You got scared by the derp guy from Tomb of Friends. I did. I did. That was a jump scare, though. The, the, the hell? Well, get out of there. I'm very confused as to what I need to do now. His name was Durr. Okay, Durr, not Derp. I have no idea. I mean, Pop is in here. Hmm. 
Try the room, the next room. Oh shit, look at that. There's a hole near the bottom of the wall. Light is coming through from the neighboring room. Go through hole. Go through hole. What is the name of this game? The Hanged Man. It's the fourth in a series. Why do you sound like you're talking through a radio? Y you were the one in the hall earlier, huh? I thought about t talking to you, but you were praying. Okay. The art's getting much better in this game. Have you noticed? Talk. The art was the art has definitely improved since the Crooked Man. Oh, this is it your p pet? He's more like my friend, kind of. He's my dad. <laughs> That's a cute friend you have. Um, but still kind of weird to have a rat friend. I mean, they c can't talk, right? <laughs> Buddy, I'm about to rock your fucking mind. Pop can talk. Oh, r really? I've never met a t talking rat before. Hey, Pop, wanna say hi to e Ed? Your name's Ed? Yeah, sh short for Edward. You? <laughs> you don't say. Will, do you live here, Ed? <laughs> Will, short for Willward. Nah, I have a home, but I can't go back. I'm staying here for a while. I would be leaving soon, but I've g g got something to do. So I'm still not sure. Uh, Pop! Did you bite him? He ran off. I guess he hates me. Pop. This dude got Goku hair. Look at him. Were you l looking for him? S sorry I made him run. I'd like to help look, but I'm busy s searching too. What are you looking for, Ed? What are you searching for? A notebook. It's small and black. I thought it was in this room, but I can't find it. I have. I got it. Gotcha. Well... Hmm. I'll look for Pop, but I'll bring that if I find it. Could you catch Pop if he comes back here? Oh, sure thing. Thanks, Will. The way that line was delivered almost made Will sound like Rosangela. A little. I have a, a notebook. Was the notebook really here? Yeah, it sh should have been. Maybe it was in some other room. I'll have to look around later. Well, the floor's caved in, so You're maybe it's... a real mess there. Maybe it's like in the room below this one. I got hungry, so I've been eating. I think your friend wanted my leftovers. He's searching for the Philosopher's Stone? Give me the stone! What about this? I have a... I have a... Letter... Storybook. Is that what you're looking for? I don't think that's what he's looking for. Yeah, Will's voice has grown on me. I bet it's down there. I bet it's one room below this one. The mirror of Eris said, I still can't get over... I can't get over that. I can't get over that that, that was a name that she decided with. Alright, so one, one below. This notebook is going to cost you an arm and a leg. Heh. Did you, did you play this game? Is it going to... Did you spoil something? It's gotta be here. This is this makes the most sense. It fell through the floor. Don't do this to me. Don't play me like this. I know, I know it's in here. Hmm. It was a full metal alchemist reference, fool. I t you know that I've only seen one episode. How would I know? <laughs> How would I know? <laughs> over there but that doesn't work over where that doesn't that doesn't make me say the the meme word hmm where is storybook please I still have a dusty notebook 
Maybe this is it. Did I try showing him this? I didn't try to show him this. Maybe that's it. I tried to show him the storybook. Wait, this isn't the right... Of course. the. I don't think this is it, but I can show it to him. Go to room... Uh, why did that door just open? Uh, I hate this. There it is again. The sound of someone crying. That must be... There's, there he is. There's someone in that chair. Look. It's Crookedman. Crookedman's back. And he's ready to fuck. Empty cans of juice. I feel like I'm just stumbling along and finding what I need to do. Like, I was getting lost. I was supposed to be going to the... I wanted to go back to that room to try the notebook. And then I ended up finding where I needed to go. I think... Won't open. Never mind. It's part of the darkness now. You're part of the darkness now. You're part of the darkness now. Oh. Okay, well, good night. Mom? Yes? It's nothing. Hey, Mom, can you turn down my clock? It's the loudest clock in the fucking universe. So. Good night. What type of mom would do that? Like, if she's he's like, Mom? Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I guess it was nothing. Guess you don't have anything on your mind. Bye. <gasps> Joey. Joey. Joey's back. This is exactly how Rosangela got her powers. It's the same fucking thing. He just, he's just there. He must be a mime. Oh, good conclusion to jump to. I try to call for mom, but it's pointless. He disappears once the lights come on. Just who is he? Does he want to tell me something? Is he my friend? Or is he... You've got guts to take a nap here, kid. Keith! You! What did you come here for? Did you find your rat? Just leave him. I'm sure he'll have a fine life out in the wild. Now, how about you give up and head home, Mr. William Morton? Huh? Why do you... Word of advice. When you run from home, don't bring your student ID. Even if you do, hide it in your jacket. You, you can't just take people's things. So what is it you skipped school and came all this way for? Spleef. <laughs> Thank you for subbing. I like your name. Twelve months in a row, Spleef. Thank you. Thank you. How about this, then? What kind of business do you have with David? Eh? H how do you know David? I'm asking you what you want with David. Resident at 135 Womack Street. What's your relation to him? Womack. I'm his cousin. No, stop snooping already. I like that slapping sound effect. One more thing. Are you receiving any threats? Huh? Ha? Huh? Demon child, huh? That's one worrying letter to be walking around with. Demon child? Give that back! Answer my question. Or would you rather be lectured by a scary officer at the police station? I'm not 
being threatened. That sounds like something a threatened person would say. Huh? I said it. <laughs> Why do you know David? Does he know you? <laughs> it just sounds like they're having a slap fight. Like, <laughs> between every one of these pieces of dialogue, they're just slapping each other in the face. Met him a while back. Now we go drinking sometimes. So what's your story? It's none of your business. Really? Well, go off and look for your rat. You come with me. Huh? And why should I? Because I'm... Because I'm... I'm... Speak up, kid. Because I'm scared oh, walking geez. around here on my own. I was expecting him to say something cool like, I'm death. <laughs> you just laughed, didn't you? I'm not laughing. Liar. <laughs> oh, I'm the liar. Why would you be getting scared now? You were waltzing around here just fine earlier. Because Pop was with me. That's why I could still handle it. Eh? Eh? If Pop's there, I'm... Fine. If I listen to Pop, we'll always be okay. I should have known. I shouldn't have come here. Way out to this town. All this snow. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have, Will, you fucking dumb idiot. Pop tried to stop me. He said I shouldn't. But I kept insisting. Keith's like, what the fuck is this kid talking about? This is a goddamn rat. You in your head, kid? If you really think your rat's talking to you, you ought to be in the hospital. If Pop doesn't... doesn't come back, what do I do? It's so cold. And I'm all alone. What if... Hey, now. Don't cry. You're 14, right? Can't go crying that easily. He's a rat boy genius. I'm not crying. Uh, okay, Will. Listen, this building's full of rats. I've seen a bunch along the way. Does yours have any identifying features? Well, he possesses the ability to speak English. His right leg's bent. And there's a little fur missing on it. Oh, of that that's easy to spot. All right. If I catch him, I'll bring him to you. But don't get your hopes up. What if Mr. Ratburn was the antagonist of this game. We can keep searching some, but... Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. You won't come with me? Do I look like I came here for a relaxing stroll? I'm busy with work here. What the fuck are you doing here? You mean Just, work. who are you? I'm nobody. Just a guy. I'm a detective. And why are you here? Investigating the bodies. That, my friend, is none of your business. Well, what's your name? Keith. Now get on your way. The best part of Mr. Ratburn's character is how he was obsessed with cake. I love, like, that. I just, I can, rem I can hear it in my head with him saying, Are you making cake? A clutch bag. Maybe it's Keith's. Hmm? All those years you suffered, those were the best years of your life. George Schmid. Hey, stop digging around in there. D don't threaten me. Is that photo yours? That's this building, right? Don't threaten me! Not mine. I'm borrowing it. Although, my dad will give it back. He was obsessed with pie, not cake. Listen, Sketch. You are wrong. I know my Arthur lore. Do not fuck with me with Arthur lore. He Maybe he liked all sweets, but he really liked cakes. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of, too. The fucking line from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Don't touch me! Hey, Keith, did you unlock this door? Who knows? Must have been unlocked already. <laughs> you just play the oblivion music over this dialogue. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Key for the document room. Can I, can I believe he's really a detective? What would a detective even be doing here? Maybe I should ask about it. Oh, okay. Have you heard of the High Elves? All right, let's try it then. If they're going to have a conversation, let's see how it sounds. 
we'll just we'll just do it. We'll see if it's funny. Could be worth it. Um I need the I need the correct song though. I need the one from uh I need the right one. Why won't you die? This will work. It's got to be quiet though cuz it it can't be louder than the game. Um hey, what kind of building is this anyway? A hospital? It was an old mental hospital. It got shut down ages ago, though. After millionaire Jim Corp bought up the forest, it was repurposed as a homeless shelter for a few years. Shelter? A place that homeless could call home. Was that incident 15 years ago thing true? What was it about? Sorry, I'm not really one to tell <laughs> stories to people liable to let their pants. This building's strange. There are these shadows or something. And locked doors opening this, up all of a sudden. This sounds just like Oblivion, like he's talking about things coming out of the Oblivion gates. Locked doors. Well, that did me. Huh? Unlike you, little trespasser, I have permission to be here. So I also borrowed some of the keys. Of course it's old. So lots of lost the time. But still, there are these shadow things. They're moving all around. Those are called the Daedra! All right, that's it. <laughs> Someone in chat said, uh, I unironically love the Oblivion soundtrack. The fucking Elder Scrolls games have great soundtracks. You don't have to be ashamed of that. They're so good. Have you heard of the High Elves? Ha! Who? Oh. Her. Have you heard from the other provinces? But isn't Elder Scrolls a meme now? <sighs> it's just if it's popular, it's a meme, I guess. It's alright. You can like popular things, you know. I play it in my car a lot. That's fine. That's totally fine. It must be nice. Yeah, that guy did do two other Oblivion videos. I don't like the other two as much as his first one. His first one was fucking perfect. Alright, uh, document room. Where the hell is that? Um, they were still funny, but they weren't as funny. Document room must be in area one, then. Area one. Document room is next to the office on the first floor. Which is also the same floor as the kitchen, dining room, etc. We'll switch to Psychonauts relatively soon. I've only been playing this for an hour and a half, so I'll give it a little bit longer. I have tried Arena and Daggerfall. I, I couldn't get into them because I played them so much. I'm sure if I played them as a kid, or like if I were growing up in that time... When did those games even come out? I would have, uh, I'm sure I would have liked them more. But when I tried them, I was like, These don't even have 3D graphics! Where's the dragons? How do I do a dragon shout? Okay. So, this is first floor, right? What what room is this? I need to find the name of a room so I can get situated. Um Yeah, I'm definitely I'm looking forward to more psychonauts. I just hope you guys know that I uh I forget the controls, so cuz it's been like 3 or 4 days. Speaking of days, is this not the sixth day in a row I've been streaming? Like uninterrupted? Or or am I or am I wrong? Because that's a that's a fucking lot of days in a row. No, okay. So that's the entrance. Um it is. Alright, so if that's the entrance. Um 69th day in a row. Well, I've been enjoying it. I'm glad you guys have been sticking around. It's been fun. Um, staff's Lounge. Alright, there's a Staff's Lounge. That'll that'll help. Staff's Lounge is on the second floor. So, I need to go down a floor. 
Is this downstairs or upstairs? This is down. All right, so this is the visiting room, which is... No, that's not where I need to be. Ellis really likes... Cronus, you should talk to Ellis about the Fallout 1 and 2 games. He really, really likes those. Um, this is the visiting room, is it not? Ugh. I'd be interested in doing Fallout eventually, yeah. Don't use this as an excuse to not stream tomorrow. I mean, I do. I do need, like, maybe a night off to myself. But I, I mean, I, I'm planning on streaming tomorrow. Turok needs more love, to be honest. I never got into the Turok games. I had them. Um, I had the. I had one of the ones on the N64. It had a black cartridge. I think Giraffes gave it to me. I think. Um, and then I had one on the GameCube. I don't remember what it was called. And it was pretty bad single player, but I remember having a lot of fun with the multiplayer. There, it had like a spider robot that you could deploy and like poison and explosive arrows. It was cool. It was cool. All right, so how the fuck do I get anywhere? Where is Ellis? Ellis has been very busy lately. Let's see. Dance. Um... All right, so it's not back here. This is where I came in. Hmm. Ellis has become part of the darkness. Go back. What do you mean go back? We gotta go back. Go back where? Hmm. I'm taking bets. Turok reboot at E3. That wouldn't surprise me. That, for some reason, I feel like maybe the recent Steam releases to, you know, give re reinvigorate interest to the past. Multiple people said to the past. The left should be the office. I can't go here. Right. Long ago in a distant land. I. Oh, shit. Aku, the shape-shifting master of darkness. Pop. What? What is Pop, that? Found you. What the fuck is that? C come on down, Pop. Let's go. This place is just. What the fuck is that? You can't get down. Wait there. I'll get you down. Wait. Why isn't he talking now? Unleashed an unspeakable evil. Tarot cards. Tarot cards. Hmm. Every time you scroll through the menu, it sounds like you're using a microwave. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. No. This one will work. This one will work. Thought you were gonna make a JoJo reference? Nope. Uh, the chariot, the emperor, the magician, justice, the moon, 
The Hermit. Judgment. The Tower. The Hanged Man. Death. Death. A movable ladder. Well, that's how I can save you, Pop. Wait a minute. Yep, yep, yep. Pop! Pop! I like, I think it's it's pretty Why ironic away, Pop? when he yells pop and then his mic pops. A tabloid. Tragedy that befell the homeless. Oh. The happy murders. Are you familiar with a certain incident that occurred in the deep woods of the outskirts of Marvel Hill? P. Woods Hospital, which once accommodated Eants with mental illnesses, was abandoned in 1970, and G neglected. Hey, G, could you make me a sandwich? No, I'm neglecting you. But it was later purchased, woods and all. One Jim Cork, famous millionaire and ph philanthropist. <laughs> Isn't that what... <laughs> Every time I see the word philanthropist, I think of that fucking Always Sunny thing. <laughs> Where Charlie is trying to save philanthropist <laughs> to his blind date. K made use of the old hospital as a shelter for the homely Ling in Priesta to open a chapel and running Oshal Action Program. All this came to an end with that gruesome incident. Ch would come to be called the Happy Murders. E Winter Day, a priest in the chapel. Uh, something amiss with the shelter's residents attempted to question them as they kept suspiciously silent. Soon discovered five corpses in the building. Cause of death all differed from stabbing to strangling. They were also found in different locations. There was a common feature. Bodies were all in plain sight. Ging from a rope in the room. If are the games are the words still cut off if you play in full screen? I, I this is the first time I've opened this game. I'm playing in windowed mode, but F four is change display. Let me try that. Nope. Making changing the window size doesn't do anything. Um, the police questioning whoever confessed the murder, their motives. They gave various reasons: an argument or having never liked their victim. They spoke not a word about the bodies hanging from rope. Police announced that most recent corpse was three days dead. The oldest corpse had been dead for three weeks. Now you're noticing something bizarre, aren't you? In the three weeks since the first murder. Four other murders took place, and the homeless residing in the shelter decided not to report them, but to go on pretending they didn't see a thing. After the five criminals confessed and stated their motives, Hey, all made this final comment. Now I've finally become happy. Cork had the facility completely shut down, and the homeless living there all dis dispersed without ever speaking of what had happened. Deep Woods Hospital has not been demolished nor renewed since the happy murders. It simply sits there, quietly, in the forest. What is this? Also, the, the mural in the background now has a shadow on it. Is this the incident from 15 years ago Keith mentioned? Yikes. I shouldn't have read that. Me reading stuff like that only makes things worse. Why can't... What is this sh new shadow? This shadow wasn't here before. Pop, why are you running? Do you hate me now? Yikes. Yeah, I wonder I wonder why that's happening to the to the text. Maybe I don't have the right font installed or something. That's the only thing I can think of. Mike, you read the book, reload your last save. <laughs> um, hmm. Keith? That better be you, Keith. Keith? Hello? Eh. Mm. Fire extinguisher. There's a building map posted. Is this the third area already? I'll take the ma I'll, I'll take the map. 
The way RPG Maker works is that if you have you have to manually set when the text wraps, they probably didn't change it from Japanese to English. Oh, that would that would do it. How did you get this guy's white background? Hmm. What is that? Is that a basket of goodies? Something's on top of the flower pot. Baby. Baby. A headless doll. I gotta give it a head. 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 Gotta do it. Pass my turn. Pass my turn. What is this? Hair? Hey. Sophie? Sheesh, what does it take to get your attention? Are you just ignoring me? Sophie, what are you doing here? It's scary in here. So, you're Will, right? I don't have the wrong person, do I? Sophie's voice actress is still good. She was good in the last game, too. Oh, I'm glad I got it right. Okay, let's get going. You'll catch a cold. Stop. Stay away from me. You're that cafe girl, aren't you? Why do you know me? And you stared a hole for me earlier. I asked David. You're his cousin, aren't you? Her voice is a little quiet, though. D David? I'm David's friend. He's worried, don't you know? Okay, let's head home. Sophie had a mad crush on David. Hey, wait a sec. I said wait! Let go, you stupid girl! Jeez, you're noisy. I'm just doing what I was asked, okay? What do you mean, asked? I explain yourself. So, after I was done with work, I called David. I was like, I had a customer who looked just like you. Then David said that was his cousin, who came to visit but disappeared, and he'd been looking. So I decided to help him look. Who didn't have a crush on David? He's such a thought heart. That's not what that word means. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a boy head into the woods alone, so I wondered if he might have been here. David's been super worried, so what were you thinking, visiting him and then disappearing? Oh, be quiet. I was gonna go back eventually, but that isn't important right now. What's that mean? I got separated from my friend in there. I just, I can't leave until I... Hold on. I know I'm interrupting this a lot, but... I find him. Huh, you came here with your friend? David didn't say anything like that. Alright, in that case, I'll help you. Huh? R really? I mean, there's no way you can just ditch your friend. Let's get you reunited and leave quick, okay? If it starts snowing hard, getting back will be rough. I'm sorry, sir. But my sensors indicate you are indeed a weenie. What's the name of this song? Wooden Bear. All right, well, now we got Sophie in our party. Mention that your friend's a rat. Yeah, you might want to do that. <laughs> you might want to mention that the friend you're looking for is a fucking rat. A notice has been left on the board. Notice! Dr. Dennis Siniar has taken a long vacation for re rep rec recuperation purposes. That's Ellis. Ellis has taken a long vacation. Hmm. What did that say? A doll? Dolly. Hmm. You guys, can you guys hear the fan that's going in the background a little bit? A sink. It's dirty with grime. I feel like you probably can hear it extra tonight because it's silent. Oh, it just turned off, so never mind. Well, now, well, now it's gone. It's very atmospheric. Well, it's it's usually on, but um, 
I feel like because this game is so quiet, you probably could hear it tonight. I don't know. Um, a drain. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to go back in there. This is the ladies' room. Don't go in there, Will. A mirror is dirty, and it reflects nothing. Each of the stalls is its own r room that you have to load. Sophie Grundler. <laughs> Her fucking last name is Grundler. I forgot. <laughs> That's such a good last name. Sophie and her Grundle. Come on, Sophie Grundler. Okay, I don't like how you enter these rooms and then you leave them and you keep holding down the button and you go back in. Look out for the Grundler. It's grundling time! <laughs> hmm... Shelves. A seat. Good times. Creaking and closing noise simulator. The office manager... The post office manager in my town is named Mr. Fuckerman. Is it spelled like that, Sketch? I do not believe that there is a person in your town named Mr. Fuckerman. F-U-C-K-E-R-M-E-N. I don't believe that. You can say it as much as you want. I don't believe it. Is that a VR helmet? That looks like a Vive. Oh, Giraffes is going to be so mad at me. They're going to make a fifth game about me called The Dead Man. And the story's going to be, after Giraffes found out what I did, he's going to kill me. Mr. Fuckerman. Yes, it's spelled like that. Huh? He's my dad's friend. <laughs> Has he ever considered changing his name? <laughs> Why are you here? Do you two know each other? Hmm, I guess. Why are you here, Mr. Keith? Bored? Do you think I take my walks in places like this? It's for work, obviously. You're the one who needs to explain herself. David said he was looking for his cousin, so I'm helping. But said cousin says he got separated from his friend, so I thought I'd help him look. Keith is going to be like, did he mention his friend is a fucking rat? Nothing gets you to shy away, huh? I say you should just get out of here. Unless you two forget, this is a technically private property. Yes, sir. Oh fuck, they were done talking. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Get going. I'm telling you to your papa, Sophie. Oh, your papa's still alive? He's like mad old now. A toolbox. It's on a shelf out of reach. Can I ask someone to get it for me? Because there's probably stuff I need in there. Hey, Keith, can you get that toolbox down? Sophie, get it for him. I can't reach it either. Sure. God damn it, these aren't. <laughs> I mean, they kind of fit <laughs> a little. <laughs> Fucker Man is the next game in the series. Obtained a screwdriver, crowbar, and hammer. In the first game, didn't you have the ability to only carry one of those at a time? Hey, what's your connection with Keith? He saved me when I got involved in an incident a little while ago. He's also my dad's client right now. Client? Papa's job covers things like inheritance, and I guess he wants to write a will and testament. A will and testament? He seems pretty young still. Old or not, people die. I guess so. Hey, is he really a detective? He's kind of nasty and stern and scary. He's not a bad guy? No, not a bad guy. Not a good one either. Well, which is it? I mean, every time we meet, he always teases me. They're calling me mad snake, starving chicken. That's terrible. Right? <laughs> I'm gonna stop doing that. I'm gonna stop doing that. It's not fair, because I want to give this game a fair chance. 
It's just so funny to play music over dialogue. I'm a drifter. I just blew into town. That was one of the best fucking jokes on that show. Where the guy comes up that looks exactly like Spongebob and you think it's Spongebob putting on a disguise to look tough. And then the real Spongebob comes up behind him dressed like a fucking clown. Hmm. Man, this Keith guy is a real thought. Did I use it right this time? I, I guess. I guess. Oh, this is a scaly womb. A small toy house. It's called a doll house, idiot. Colorful teddy bears. A small toy house. A small toy house. A doll. Its stomach is cut open with cotton coming out. Hmm. A ball. Okay, there's a storybook. The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Once there was a shepherd boy. No, that's... this is sad. No, that's not gonna work. Once there was a shepherd boy who had to look after a flock of sheep. One day, he felt bored and decided to play a trick on the villagers. He shouted, Help! Wolf! Wolf! The villagers heard his cries and rushed out of the village to help the shepherd boy. When they reached him, they asked, Where is the wolf? The shepherd boy laughed loudly. Ha ha ha! I fooled all of you! I was only playing a trick on you. A few days later, again he cried, Help! Help! Wolf! Wolf! Again the villagers rushed up the hill to help him, and again they found the boy had tricked them. They were very angry with him for being so naughty. Then, some time later, a wolf really went into the field. The wolf attacked one sheep, and then another. And then another. The shepherd boy ran toward the village shouting, Help! Help! Wolf! Help somebody! The villagers heard his cries, but they laughed because they thought it was just another trick. The boy ran to the nearest village and said, A wolf is attacking the sheep. I lied before, but this time it is true. Finally, the villagers went to look. It was true. They could see the wolf running away and many dead sheep lying on the grass. Gee, that was a scary story, huh, Sophie? Shut the fuck up, Will. Oh my god, wait, his name is Will and nobody said, like, any Fesh Pince memes. Shut up, Will. Give me a hug, man. Man, you can drop dead. A wooden horse. It's called a rocking horse, but okay. There are some drawings that look like a child's. Ooh. One day, a shepherd boy saw a wolf meeting other wolves. They were talking about attacking the villagers and eating them. But the boy said nothing to the villagers. None of these work. None of these work. These don't work. I'm just going to read it. <laughs> a few days later, lots of wolves attacked the villagers. The wolves ate lots of the villagers. The boy watched the villagers being eaten and shouted, It serves you right. You wouldn't believe me. So I... Oh shit, this is like the sequel to The Boy Who Cried Wolf? I didn't know it ended like this. It wouldn't have... It, it was only like two more pages anyway. There's a piece of paper on the desk. It's titled, A Conservation with Lisa Gardner. A conversation, not conservation. A conversation with Lisa Gardner. Sam. Lisa, could you tell us about your pictures? Is that the boy who cried wolf? Yes, that's right. It seems to have a different ending. Did you make it? Yes, that's right. Why did the boy let the villagers die? Because they didn't believe him. The boy was the one who lied. 
Isn't he the one that did something wrong? Grown-ups lie all the time, too. And all the villagers died? No, four of them are still on the run. What are they doing now? I don't know, but a wolf better eat them soon. Do they need to be eaten? Once all the bad grown-ups are gone, we can go anywhere. That's the fucking plot of Jimmy Neutron. The movie. There's a robot on this desk. A ball. She's like classic little girl, scary horror movie girl. Okay, Lisa, chill. You need to chill, Lisa. You need to take a chill pill. <laughs> Nani? What is it? I just... There was some sort of shadow. Hey, stop it. You just mistook something, right? Didn't Sophie have a run-in with a bunch of sa shadow people? Nightmares. What is that? There's a doll on the bed. There was a doll under the bed, that's it? Hmm. Where's the Sandman when you need him? Hmm. Yeah, we're about done with this for the night. But I'm definitely going to finish it. I like this one. This one's great, actually. <laughs> I, I really like this one. I think this one's probably my favorite. So far. A sink. The mirror is dirty and reflects nothing. Bond with me, Jimmy. That's such a good video. Such a good one. Such a great video. Hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to go back in there. Hope you like door sounds. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, this one's kind of tonally consistent. Hmm. <laughs> I hope this doesn't have a corny twist. Oh, I hope you're ready because I'm sure it will. Pop was controlling them all along. That Andy really creeps me out. He's always gathering people around the visiting area for some weird divination. They're convinced they have to follow their fortunes. Sometimes they won't eat or won't take baths or they burn their own hands. The patient in 2103 is finally getting sent to Building 3. Thank goodness. That girl drove the doctor up the wall and sent him on a vacation. And making a psychiatrist neurotic is no joke. Just watching her wander around makes me feel like I might lose it too. Andy's not listening to me anymore. Says he's got a bad fortune, so he won't leave the room. He's just been clinging onto the table. We'll have to hope he dies that way. Lost the key to the library. Well, there's a spare, so I can probably leave it. Besides, I don't want to get yelled at. I love games where, you know, they just write in a diary. The code is 2103. The bathtub is filled with muddy water. Can I, can I drain it? Look at all this shit I have. Holy fuck. The wash bin, wash basin and drain. Look closely. There's something in the drain. Can I, uh, can't unscrew it. Crowbar? Oh, shit. That worked. There's a doll in the drain. Oh, fuck. It's, that, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't know when a good stopping point would be, though. Won't open. Alright, well, it says won't open usually when it's not locked. There's just no way through. Huh. What's this? Hammer? I don't know. I was thinking maybe I could use a hammer on that stuff, but I don't see any way that would work. Use your knife on the dolls? Oh, shit. You don't think so. Could it be? Where was the first doll at? Wait, there was a doll in there, I think. Right here? A doll, it's stomach. Oh, these ones are already cut. So maybe I have to, like, cut the other ones. For whatever reason. Dirty bed. Alright, that's not the one with the, uh... The phone's dead, Will. Alright.
late. I'm about done. I'm about done. Not that I'm not enjoying this, but I just want to switch games. Cut the doll. Hold on. What are you doing? Wow. Is this bad end? Am I getting the bad end because I'm doing this? The four people that escaped, they're the four dolls you have to cut. Oh, fuck. That's scary. Wait, hold on. The mirror is dirty and reflects nothing. Can I clean it? You bastard. Reload the save. The background got less green. Hmm. Where were the other dolls then? All right, let's cut this one. Okay. So now there's two more, and I have no goddamn idea where they are. Hmm. Mario wants to cut the dolls. Hey, Luigi, you seen my dolls? Hmm, nice computer you got here. Can I have it? Hmm. You want a dolly? You want a drugi? <laughs> Where the hell is this other doll? It must be in one of the toilets. There's only so many places I can go. It must be like, I'm guessing it's in one of the toilets. There's several toilets. I don't think I looked at them all. Do you think that shadow girl was leading you to the dolls? I haven't seen her again. Mario's going to fly for you. Were there more dolls in these ones? There's Keith. Have you seen the top-rated iCarly YouTube poop? Spencer launches a bagel into Griffin's rectum. No, I haven't. I, uh, I'm not familiar with that one. She was on the bed with the first one, then ran into the room that led to the sink and the drain. Yeah, but then that room led into the room with the doll in it. So I... Oh, shit. There's something under the chair. Okay. All right, all right. One more, I think. I think that'll be a good stopping point once we get them all. We'll get... There's one more. Hmm. Are you going to ignore everyone making the Jimmy Neutron references? I mean, what do you want me to add? Really? Like, uh, you guys are making all the references. Hmm. Hmm. Pepsi. All right, we just got to find one more dolly. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that was the one I just cut. What the fuck? Maybe I had to collect them in a certain order, and now that I've got that third one, now one's back here. Nope. These sound effects are great. I love them. Watch it on stream. There's no way I could watch a fucking iCarly YouTube poop on stream without getting claimed. They claimed the iCarly theme song even though I played it at like 25% speed. I'll get sent to iCarly prison. I prison. Hmm. We have to find this. We have to find this because I need to be done with this game. You're already going to get claimed for the SpongeBob production music. No, you won't. It's production music. Um. No, this is, I already read this. Um,
Does anyone know where this is? Examination room four. It's got to be in this area, doesn't it? How did iCarly never get sued by Apple? <laughs> Second floor staff's room, bathroom, open and drain with crowbar. Yeah, I did that one. That's this right here. Unless I can drain the bathtub too for whatever reason. Oh, the crowbar is gone now for my inventory. You can only use it once. I'm guessing there's something I have to like smash with a hammer or something. No, when I say claimed, I mean the YouTube stream getting claimed. I'm not talking about Twitch. Um, hmm. That won't open. It's got to be it's got to be like right around here. It's got to be in one of these rooms. There just must be something I haven't clicked on. Maybe the wall. Well, I've I've been clicking on the walls and none of the walls say like, "Oh, this looks like you could break it." Um Here are the locations of the doll. First floor nursing station from the door in the lobby. Top right. Uh top right. First floor counseling room under the chair, second floor examine examination room room number 3 under the bed and staff's room bathroom. So I don't think I've gotten the one in the first floor nursing station. That sounds right. Right? I don't think I... Are this... This is the first floor. Hold on. Um, first floor nursing station from door in the lobby. Second... Uh, top right. First floor counseling room. I don't think I've gotten... There's one I must not have gotten on this. Um, I think I got two upstairs. So there must be one down here I haven't gotten yet. Oh, fuck, that scared me. <laughs> that scared me. Okay, I figured it was, like, in that back area, but all right. All right. So they're all cut open now. Um, we already read this, right? Yeah. All right, there we go. I don't know what I have to do now. Wait a minute, was there something different on the... No, I don't think so. That doesn't look any different. Alright, I'm just gonna go back to Keith and I'll save there. I'm assuming that's where I have to go now, anyway. But, I'll go see what Keith is up to. Um... Keith? Where was Keith? Keith! Go back to the doll room. Oh, it could be the doll room, right, where I read the thing in the first place. Oh, no, this is the boy who cried wolf. That was the... That's the wrong storybook. It's the one with the, the little girl who wrote the story. Why is everyone talking about Jimmy Neutron? Because when people get bored of the game that I'm streaming, they start talking about other things. And, uh... They just don't pay attention anymore. It's just a bunch of goddamn... It, children with attention span of ants... Um, I did this. I, I got the four villagers. Hmm. Hmm. In addition, enter the woman's bathroom across from an examination room and find the headless doll. Uh, I found that. Once you've done with the four dolls and the headless one, you can go anywhere and thus open the gate by the staff's room. Okay. Hold on. Let me see if I can go through here. Nope. All right. The book was different. The book was different. Did it? Was it different? The book changed. I just mashed through it. It had new pages. Really? Which book? Which book was it? You can go anywhere. You can do anything. You can do anything. Um. One day, boys. Da, 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 da. Um. The wolves ate the villagers. The boy watches you. Serves you right. Oh shit! You're right. 
uh, the villagers were all gone, the boy realized something. He realized he was now all alone. As much as I tried to lie for attention, I'm still alone, as alone as ever. No one would ever look at me. Uh, the boy cried in the middle of the empty village. He cried, and the tears fell and fell. All right. Um. Hmm. Maybe there's more here, too. Uh, that's right. Yes, that's right. Because I didn't believe him. Grown-ups lie all the time. Uh, four of them are still on the run. Wolf better eat them soon. Why do they need to be eaten? Once the grown-ups, you can go anywhere. All right, so they're, they've all been eaten. Well, I want to figure... I want to finish this part before we move on to the next game. They can go... I can go anywhere now. I can do anything. Hmm... I guess we'll have to figure it out next time. I wanted to finish this, but... Pediatrics. You have to cut the one without the head? Oh. Do you? Did you say that? I, I didn't read it entirely. That was, uh, here, right? Flower pot. Wait a minute. It's gone. What is? The, there was a doll here, but it's gone. Was there really? You weren't just seeing things? You're doubting me? I really saw it! Jeez, no need to shout. You're a weird one. Okay, well let's just see if that means I can go anywhere. I didn't get to cut it because it was gone. Hmm. Look at the flower pot. There was a doll here. It's gone now. Ha ha ha. Won't open. Hmm. What do the dolls have to do with pot? I pop. Alright, I'm done for now. <laughs> I'm done for now. I wanted to finish this area, but I, I can't figure it out. Or I can figure it out. I just, you know, I wanna, I'll just save here. He was destroyed. Um, once you've done this, wait, you must first, uh, hold on, hold on. Let me just see what you said, Komori. Um, uh, for it to appear, you must have first checked the flower pot in the lobby to notice that it's gone. Oh, okay, the woman's bathroom. All right, we'll go to the woman's bathroom, and then we'll be done. Then Psychonauts. Or first, then BRB, then Psychonauts. Where was it? Did I pass by it? Was it on the... I think it was on the lower floor. Hold on. I thought it was on this floor, but it's not. It must be on the first floor. There it is. Hmm. It's not in any of these stalls. Is this the right bathroom? A sink. The mirror is dirty and reflects nothing. Second floor? The woman's bathroom is across from the examination room on the second floor. Oh, okay. I just, you know, this is the only woman's bathroom sign I saw, so I figured that was it, but... Across from the examination room. All right. Nursery. Pediatrics. Which one of these is the examination room? Examination room four. It must be one of these, then. There she is. Look. That was hair. Ew! <gasps> this is the doll that was in the flower pot. It was over there? You're sure of that? Are you saying the doll moved by itself? I'm not lying. It was really over there before. S seriously, you don't have to shout. Eight 
It has no head. Can I cut this one? Can't cut this one. That was scary. Todd Coward. What are you doing? It won't open? N yeah, it doesn't look like it's locked, but... I'll try it. Move aside. It Way to go, Will. What? But, but... Alright, fine. That's a stopping point. New area up ahead. But this was the Hanged Man. Also, thanks for stopping, Asteriel. Asteriel. However you pronounce your name. Thank you very much. Five months is a long time. I appreciate the five months of support. Anyway, that was the Hanged Man for the night. I like this one. I like this one a lot. Um, I'm going to do a quick BRB, and I will be back with some Psychonauts. I actually have to find my controller. I unplugged it earlier. Olden Golden Street, thank you for subbing too. Um, you guys are the best. Um, but yeah, new area, new Pokemon. So next time on Crooked Man, we're going to go down those stairs. But uh, sit tight if you want some Psychonauts. If not, I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye. In a couple minutes. See you, see you then.